Hello, and welcome to another episode of Susan's Tips and Training. This time we're going to go over the WYSIWYG editor. WYSIWYG means what you see is what you get. It's the editor used in most content management systems such as WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, and other proprietary systems. Oh, Blogger and all those too. So let's get started. I'm going to show this in a basic editor that is in WordPress. Some of you, your tools may vary. So let's go over here. Let's go over to post, all post. I'll just open a recent one for you. Here's a nice helpful one I did on time for W9s and 1099s. See my toolbar here? I have a lot of tools for formatting. This one also, I think this one allows me to what they call hide the kitchen sink. See, I can hide some of the tools. So if you're only seeing some of these, you might have a cool little thing like this to show you more tools. I have some extra ones in here too. I'm prone to recipe cards, so that's for that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about this one. These have to do with some plugins that I have. And some themes have short codes that are built into their system and that tie to the editor. The short codes are kind of like shortcut, shortcut, like compacted code that lets you format things consistently for columns and fields. And well, I'll just show you really quick. This theme has all these different types of short code things put in there for what I want to do, including some columns. It's really handy and it ensures that my site will look consistent throughout whenever I want to use columns. I don't have to know how to write the code. But we're not talking about those fancy things. We're going to cover a lot of tools from this basic row. Let's start with bold. Bold is how you add emphasis. All you do is select by holding your mouse key over the text you want to make bold and click the B. Now you have that little bit of emphasis. Well, what if you want to further emphasize something or you have a need for, oh, look at this, here's a typo. I'm just gonna click a space in there. Good grief, I was typing too fast somewhere. So we're gonna come here and let's italicize this one for the word and. Click on the eye that's slanted. Now sometimes you wanna tell a little bit of a story of something that used to be and now it isn't. So maybe it says, and they are not a corporation, and they are not a silly head. Well, that's not really funny, but maybe you wanna use this strike through. I don't really have a lot of need for strike through. If I need to strike it through, I'm just going to delete it, but that option is there for you. Here's another handy thing. These are your bulleted lists. Bulleted lists will take on the formatting of whatever your style sheet says. Sometimes our bulleted lists have been overwritten so you don't see these nice little bullets on the live site because we've said, oh, don't show bullets. I don't know why you do that, but sometimes that happens. But you'll see it here. And mine are a square style because I've set mine up as a preference. See that part is square. Now sometimes in some editors you can right click within the list and format the list. This one doesn't let you do that. I'll show you another editor that does though. Here is another editor that does. This is in a proprietary CMS. I'm very fond of this one. My nonprofit Binky Patrol is in here. But notice that I have a bulleted list here. With this editor, look at all those tools. Good gravy, you can do a lot here. But I can right click within this list, bulleted list properties, and sometimes it will let you change it. Like this one, I can make the whole list be a square. And now it's changed those bullets to be a square. I would hit update and it would save it. But let's get back to more common things. That would be WordPress. All right, so we've seen how to make a list here. Very basic, select the paragraphs you wanna make a list. Sometimes you all are copying over from Word and pasting into here. We'll cover copy paste in a different video. For now, we're going with the basic tools. Well, let's say we wanted to number those instead. First, you can select it again and uncheck the bulleted list and you've undone it. You can also say, I'd rather have a numbered list. Again, you can't edit this to tell it what to start with. It doesn't let you do that. I can show you that code tweak in another video. So let's get rid of this list though altogether. And I'm gonna make something that is really important and stand out. I'm gonna use the block quote. 
Now, depending on your template, that will determine how this looks. Sometimes it's very fancy that even has quotation marks behind it. It indents it, it outlines it, it makes it all fancy. Sometimes it just pushes it in and offsets it a bit to make it stand out. But let's see what this looks like if I save this. I'm gonna preview my changes. We scroll down. Here's how my template handles block quote. I'm kind of fond of this. It really stands out. But notice I have a quotation mark. It's gray. It's, you know, it really is called out separately. That's a very handy tool and it makes it consistent whenever you want to, maybe you want to quote somebody and talk about it in a blog post. This allows you to make it stand out. I'm going to uncheck that because I really don't want it to do that. Here's a horizontal line. Maybe you want to divide up some content between some thoughts. I could insert a horizontal line right there and let's see what that looks like. It's right there. My horizontal lines I've said in my style sheet I want very subtle. So that's what you're seeing there. Okay, so we can get rid of that. We don't really need a horizontal line. This is for alignment, whether you want your text to align to the left. By default, it's usually to the left, whether I want it centered or to the right. If your style sheet and your site is set up properly, chances are it defaults to aligning to the left. Here's a link. Insert link, remove link. Here's a link I've created to the IRS. I'll show you what it looks like. All I have to do is click within this existing link. I don't have to select the whole thing just to see what's going on. Here it shows me the URL it goes to, and I've told it because it doesn't stay on my site to open in a new window. I do that because if somebody decided, I don't want to see that document, and they close it, well, they've closed their whole browser and they aren't back on my site anymore. If I wanted to link within my own content, this editor lets me search within my own content and create a link without having to know the precise URL of it. It's really handy when you want to refer to another article. It's a good way, too, to cross-promote your post. Now, let's say we want to create a new link. Here's a reminder. Let's take that bold text. I'm going to click on Insert Link. Again, same window, and you just type in your link. This part is critical, folks. If you are going to a different website and don't have that in there, it's going to look for your URL within your site. So it would be yoursite.com slash google.com. That doesn't work. Please remember to type in the HTTP colon slash slash or HTTPS colon slash slash. Those are the most common. If I wanted to remove a link, well, I'm going to put a link in first because I don't want to remove that one and look for it again. Um, I'll link to my nonprofit site. Okay, add link. So there's the link. Now I don't want the link. I select it and I say remove link and it removes the link but left the bold. What if you wanted in WordPress to make an abstract? The abstract is the teaser. When you go to a category, usually you see headlines and the posts. Well, sometimes your posts are really, really long and you're gonna wanna divide it up so you can get more interest on your page by giving people a taste of your content. By inserting the more tag, that divides it up. So if I went to the category that this post is in, which is, let's look at the category, free advice, you would see this headline and only up to here with a read more link. Then you would see this entire post. It's a great way to condense your landing pages so they don't scroll on forever. And it lets people find what they're interested in very quickly. This is a shorter post and I was fine with that, but hey, we'll leave that. I'm gonna hit update. So if I go to the section on, what was it, free advice? I think that was it. Here it is, more. This has an edit tool because I'm logged into my admin right now, but it would just say more and you can click on the headline to see the story. All right, so let's get back to the rest of that kitchen sink. You want to? This gets a little more complex. How about we end this one here, because it's already at 10 minutes, and we'll come back with a part two. I hope that got you started and was very helpful. Thank you for joining me. I truly appreciate everything that you do by showing up. This has been Susan's Tips and Training, and I'm Susan Finch.